Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use the collections library keyword convert to list in robot framework test automation. In robot framework, the collection library has a keyword convert to list. This keyword converts the given item to a Python list type. This keyword is mainly useful for converting tuples and other iterable items to lists. This keyword use create list from the built-in library for constructing new lists. When automating test cases, if you have a list of items in different variables, you can use the keyword convert to list to convert the items to list and then use all list keywords to manipulate the items. Let's see the example. I created one variable name it tup1 and set variable set variable is a keyword used to create variable and set its value this variable has been initialized with value a b c d and sn so five items have been assigned to the variable tup1. So now we convert the variable to list. My list equal to convert to list. The variable is tup1. Now we log the list. I created a variable name it list length equal to get length of the list. So we need to find out how many items are in the list. We log the list size and list length. In the last keyword, list should contain value to verify the list should have the initial value SM as one of its items. Since we have different test cases in this test suite, I tagged the test case as list test 3. And remember that on the test suite level, we need to import the library collections. Now let's click on the run tab. Because the convert to list test has a tag list test 3 so we only run this test case in the run tab only run tests with the tags list test 3 now let's click on start one critical test one passed one test total one passed and three log files were generated let's look at the console The variable tuple1 equal to u, a, b, c, d, s, m. u represents it is a unicode string. And second is convert to list. This variable is converted into a string and each item is separated by pipe symbol. So the length is 5 and it contains following items and we get the length 5 and last is list should contain value sm passed now let's look at the actual log so 
So set variable A, B, C, D, S, M to the variable name T, U, P, 1 and the variable is created. Now second the keyword convert to list. This variable is converted into list A, B, C, D, S, M. Now we log the list. List has five items and it contains following items. Use the keyword get length returns the number of items in the list. It's five. And we use the log statement. We log the list length variable. And last keyword is list should contain value. Because the list has the value SM, the test passed. In previous tutorial, or in this tutorial, we used log list and log two different keywords. Log list logs the length and contents of the list using given level. Because my list has five items, so it returned the length is 5 and all the items. But log is any custom info is log. So log list size is string and list length is the variable we defined. So list size is 5. So as explained in this example, you can use convert to list to convert any given items to Python list. Thanks for watching and if you need more examples please visit www.seleniummaster.com website.